my culture. So for food and water, um, we only use the food we grow on our own, because we're farmers, such as wheat and vegetables. Um, we do not believe in killing animals for food unless for some reason we don't have any food left. So that's what's really Architecture, we're going to have these small wooden huts with the kind of like tiki huts, I guess. They're sturdy but small. They're going to be made out of wood and they're suitable to live in. Yeah. Sorry. Lifestyle, we're all happy. Everyone we know are friends. Except if they didn't think that way. Um, we live in wooden huts and eat our own food. We are farmers getting up at 8 and working till 5. On Sundays, we wake up at 9 and work till 4. Most people trade for food or water, and others make it themselves. Entertainment. Some entertainment for our nations are things such as acts, like plays, games, such as soccer or football, and just plain talking. We also have music, which is, we're just going to have smooth music, because that helps us. <coughs> Transportation. Our most famous was a moving. It's something we call walking. <laughs> However, we do have some tractors and small cars to get wherever we need it. It's a long space. Celebration. In honor of North America, we still celebrate normal traditions like Fourth of July, Christmas, Halloween, Easter. However, we do celebrate a new holiday called ASD, or American Separation Day, when we first left America. Education. Finally, education teaches everybody normally until they supposed to say 12th grade. 12th grade, when they are old enough to be legal farmers, then we teach them farming basics and safety, while also teaching them regular education. The end. This is my map. I use Scribblenaut, Scribblenaut, Scribble Maps for it. So if you, Joshua, if you click on them, you can see. So if you click on the green ones, the green ones are my water features. I have rivers, lakes, tributaries, um, more lakes, and the swamp. And for the blue, or sorry, red, apparently, are cities, my cities. So Saginaw, Cloquet, Hermantown, Capital city, which is the great city, and you got to X out of it, and then Bennett. And the blue ones are our landforms, like the Great Hills, the Mountain Range, Large Plains. We have a plateau, and we have the desert. And our place is called the Greats, and we fortified beside Lake Superior. Yeah, by the Great Lakes. So Joshua. Go to um, go down a bit. Yeah. So this is my timeline. To start off during the refugee war or the moving war. We were forced to move to a new area. We called it the Moving War because due to the war, we were forced to move to another place. We call it the Great Lands. After countless years of walking, we should finally arrive at our new land. And we're hoping to find something from Professor Meep that's some sort of resource like oil or minerals. And we're going to try to build a flying car because I think that would be a pretty cool idea. So um, we were, in fact, sort of dragged into a war because there was a war happening in our land. So we took a little bit of part of it, and so we gave the winning team, which was Abnegation, some of our materials, and they used it as, like, grenades or bombs or whatever they need, and um, they defeat the candle. So we get some of the land from the candle. The new resources for the land, we shall use it for toilet seats. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we'll use about
out half of it, half of the land, for trading, so we have enough food for most of the time, and the rest will go into building more structures. So we should find, hopefully, some resources in the middle land. So we'll use that to build better, sturdier structures. And if we have any left over, we use it to buy working, effective filters to try to filter the lake water to make real, pure water to drink. Finally, we will make an alliance with the Erudite, or the Intelligent Faction. If they accept, we shall trade them food for water. We need water in the future for future crops and stuff like that. Oh, you know, on ourselves. And that's my timeline. yesterday. Yeah, don't go back to your presentation and finish up one of the other parts. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can watch my Vokey, which originally I had gotten the government wrong, but this is what I put there anyway for a little bit of information. Two equipment it's like 30 seconds. I am the leader. Excuse me, I am Manhattan, leader of the Greats, the Amity faction. I shall now explain how friendliness, peace, cordiality, forgiveness, and sustainability can be used wisely. We believe we will use friendliness and peace to avoid wars so we can keep our people safe, use cordiality and forgiveness when greeting enemy or rival. Finally, we will use sustainability to keep our people together. We believe in peace and prosperity. We feel like everyone should be peaceful to one and another. We have made laws to make sure that these traits aren't everyone. Bye. So that's my vote. I didn't have all the government information.